In the last annihilator, six machines met and mauled. Axes sliced, flippers flopped, spikes thrust, robots tumbled. One by one, the casualties fell, pounded and crumpled, punctured and dented. The elimination process took its toll until eventually a hero emerged. Just one left standing. Spikosaurus, the annihilator northern champions. Now it's the turn of the south. Welcome the man with more strings attached than Captain Scarlet, Craig Charles. Welcome to another special edition of Robot Wars. And back, due to popular demand, with a second of our gruesome annihilators. And what can I say about the robots gathered here today? Only that they came, they saw, they kicked some serious bottom. Yes, folks, this is a war between six of the most ferocious robots from Robot Wars so far. Now, the way the annihilator works is fairly simple. All of our six robots are thrown in the arena together. There they fight until one of them is clearly eliminated or time runs out. With one robot annihilated, the survivors then given time to make repairs before all five of them prepare to do battle again. It's six down to five, down to four, and so on, until two robotic hard nuts enter one decisive battle. This week, all of our robots are from the south, but these aren't no southern softies. Let's meet some mechanical muscle. <laughs> Craig, all have fought in Robot Wars before. Spawn of Scutter, Onslaught, Behemoth. Look at Razor, well fancied, strong, dangerous. Attila the Drum, and last but not least, Vercingetorix. Looking for a fight, just about to go into the arena, we have our southern teams, starting with Spawn of Scutter. Now, they are going to hypnotise you with their flashing blue lights, but they will do damage because they've got a pneumatic spike that comes at you at 120 miles an hour. Ouch. Behemoth costs two and a half grand to make. They've got 40 stones worth of lift in that bucket there. Onslaught also have a lifter, but uh, they could lift uh, a couple of me. We won't say how much that is exactly. They're very proud because they've got the biggest motor on Robot Wars, but that's because it's from 1967. Attila the drum, their strength is that they can't be tipped over. When the drum moves, you'll have a taste of that. Ouch. Razor have nine tons worth of hydraulic piercing on there, which is beautiful. It's an incredibly engineered machine. We look forward to seeing that get trashed. And last of all, Vercingetorix. This is terillium carbonic alloy, which is what Buzz Lightyear's wings are made out of. I don't know how much good that will do you in the arena, boys. Oh, do a lot. Do a lot of good. Oh, They're good. confident. Now, they can lift a bus, apparently, and I think it's time for a pile-up. Well, I wouldn't get in the arena with any of that lot, let alone all of them. Yeah, it should be a masterclass in mayhem as we let the annihilation begin. The reigning world champions, Team Captain Ian Lewis, swims with sharks for fun. The nine-ton hydraulic piercer on Razor can do as much damage as a great white. And let's have a look at the capabilities in Series 4 so far against Velociripper. You can see the power of the cutting, crushing claw. Robo Chicken certainly found that out. Those holes, 450 of them drilled in the robot to keep its weight down. Speed up to 11 miles an hour. Heavy at 80 kilos. If it comes to a balancing act, difficult to haul over. Razor, the heavyweight favorite, surely. I'm Ian Lewis. I'm Simon Scott. And I'm Vinnie Blurk, and this is our machine, Razor. And we're ready for all out war, and we're gonna wreck the opposition. Absolutely trash them, definitely. Recent, yeah, boys. big time, big time squeeze Look out. We're mean. From Hebel Hempstead and the number six seed, Behemoth. A mighty machine, joint heaviest here at 80 kilos, a titanium shell, bucket scoop, two motors, and an electric wheelchair gearbox. Will the moth fly too near the flames, though? In Series 3, we saw the power of the scoop against Shark Attack and then General Carnage. And in the heat final, things look good as they roll Pitbull over. 
but then they got stuck on an arena spike and were unlucky losers. Hi, this is Team Beaver, myself, Anthony Pritchard, Kane Aston, and Michael Pritchard, and this is our robot, Behemoth. We've got power to lift them, push them, and we can self fry them. Basically, we're going to flip them and kick them. From Southampton, Attila the Drum. A mace and pickaxe mean there's nothing humdrum about Attila. A Kevlar shell protects the 24 volt motors. The drum rolls both sides up, even when it's flipped over. Now, we've already seen great aggression from Attila the Drum in Series 4 in the very first hit, using the mace there to create damage on King B3 and Medusa 2000. Spinning wildly, though, the problem was a lack of control and style. And ultimately, the judges ruled them out. Hi, we're the BattleBot team. I'm Team Captain Bernie. This is Aisha and this is Helen. And this is our robot, Attila the Drum. We're really looking forward to this Annihilator round. We've got more chance of hitting other robots. And we're going to do it, hopefully, with this pickaxe. And also, the fur and the tassels and everything is going to put the fear of Attila into all the other robots as well. From Bedford, Onslaught. A pneumatically powered scooper, spikes at the rear, a Sremek. This seems to have it all, a steel chassis, power from a forklift truck motor. Get ready for the onslaught. In Series 3, as tenacious and nippy as a Jack Russell Terrier. Constantly on the attack, worrying, gnawing, but then against the impressive beast of Bobman and former champions themselves, Onslaught lacked A, the power, and then a self-writing mechanism when flipped. They're back with a three mech this time, and could do well in the Annihilator. A very good sport is Onslaught. Hello, we're Team Onslaught. This is my son, David, brother-in-law, Mark. This is our robot, Onslaught. He has a lift in front, self-writing mechanism, a great big one kilowatt electric motor, and very soon, we should be going out into the arena with five other robots, and hopefully we'll be able to beat the whole lot of them. From the Isle of Wight, person getter it. Kevlar and Lexan, axe and lifter, materials and weapons double up to make this ancient name machine most modern indeed. These are veterans of Robot Wars. They've been with us for years with the old Latin inscriptions and never really lived up to their potential. Unless they can get the weaponry working this time around, it'll be defeat, as it was against Terrapin in the first round last year. The old Latin inscription, lump em, shunt em, dump em. Hi there, I'm Ian. This is Alistair and Tom. We are Team Burton Getterix. We're in the Annihilator, and we are going to do some annihilation. Rob Gray's in Essex and seated number 10, Sworn of Scutter. It has that pneumatic flipping, piercing 120 mile an hour spike, can run upside down on its four wheels from a sack barrow and two starter motors from a saloon car give the initial power. In Series 3, they went all the way to the semi-finals as Scutter's Revenge, only to be beaten by 101. But earlier, they'd shown great tenacity in defeating Thermidor, up to 15 miles an hour around the arena floor using 78.8 kilos of power and shove. That took them through to their heat final. Oh, behave, said the Scutter's message. But Pussycat didn't. They used an illegal blade. It shattered, and Scutter's Revenge won. We're Team Spawn. This is Luke, Graham, and I'm Darren. And this is our robot Spawn. It's basically run by two V6 starter motors, which makes us probably the most powerful robot in the competition. We have a CO2-powered spike that comes out about 120 mile an hour with half a ton of force behind it. And uh, we're going to knock them out, basically. Roboteers, stand by. Versing Getrix with the lifter there at the front, and Razor with the crusher, and Onslaught with the bucket scoop. And there on the left-hand side, the Versing Gedrick, steamy in gear with a beard, Razor in the middle, and young David Wood of Onslaught on the right. And Attila the Drum with the pickaxe look, Spawn of Scutter with the spike, and Beermoth with the pneumatic scoop. 
Bernie Ryder of Attila the Drum on the left there, the Spawn of Scudder Boys in the middle, and the Pritchard Brothers of Behemoth. Three, two, one. Oh, look at the speed of Razor straight out of the traps there to the top right of your picture. Razor with a great crushing claw on Bursin Gettrich. That's Behemoth trying to get the scoop in. That's Razor immediately on the attack of piercing Bursin Gettrich's shell. The boys from the Isle of Wight with a Kevlar and Lexan machine in trouble straight away from Razor Lux. Piercing and crumbling, Beerbock nearly flipped up by Onslaught, but look at this, Razor's great crushing, piercing weapon. Crumpling down on Versing Getrich right from the start. Spawn of Scudder dodging away from Attila the Drum. Attila the Drum coming back, using the pickaxe, don't forget. There, we just saw it, Onslaught in the middle. Versing Getrich trying to get back, look, and Razor. There we can see at the controls briefly the Razor boys. They're doing most of the attacking so far. Onslaught, though, bashing against Razor. Razor taking on poor old Bursin Gedrix again. Well, they picked on them right from the start. And Beermoth going in and lifting Razor up into the air. Onslaught trying to do the same with Bursin Gedrix. Probably not having enough power. Sport of Stutter. Will we see the great piercing spike come out? They want them in the pit. Who's going in the pit? Attila the Drum in the top. No, no fear. Beermoth almost flipped up. Sport of Stutter in the action again. Dropping Onslaught against the scoop of uh, Beermoth. Look at this now. It was Onslaught on the attack, first of all, on Beermoth. But very nearly toppled in the end, there, over goes Onslaught, last time they didn't have a self-riding mechanism, they said they did this time, and they do, away from Razor in spectacular fashion, look at that, the Onslaught self-riding mechanism does work this time around, Attila the Drum is doing nothing but trundling around, Razor is on the attack again, Bursin Gedrich has been in the thick of everything right from the start, and Onslaught, plucky little terrier, we told you about that early on. Now, Razor and Behemoth having a go at Attila the Drum, which does spin and turn around wildly, that's the Attila the Drum team, that was uh, Aisha Nat, the 14-year-old, waving to us, thumbs up from her. Meanwhile, Onslaught again flipped up and turning, as Bursin Gedrich spin immobilised. One robot has to go. One robot will be eliminated at this stage, and I think at the moment it looks like Bursin Gatorix, Sport of Scutter on the attack, Behemoth on the attack. Well, they were really under the cost right from the word go. This is Behemoth, and look at Little Onslaught. Behemoth had a go at Sport of Scutter. Anything you can do, I can do better. That was magnificent. Little Onslaught on the attack on Behemoth, and again, they will not give up the Onslaught boys from Bedford. First in Getterix, though, a little bit of smoke. I think they're out of it. This is Razor on the attack of Attila the Drum. Oh, and look at this. Will they break the pickaxe off, or is it strong enough to withstand the pressure? I think First in Getterix are out. It's not up to me, though. It's up to our three judges who have to decide. And here are our three busy brains. Professor Noel Sharkey, head of computer science at the University of Sheffield and director of the Creative Robotics Unit at Magna. Martin Smith, head of the Mobile Robotics Research Unit at the University of East London and chairman of the Cybernetics Society. And Dr Myra Wilson, head of Intelligent Robotics and Computer Science at the University of Wales in Aberystwyth. Marking on style, control, damage and aggression. Plenty of that from Razor. Plenty of damage sustained by Bursin Getterich. Spawn of Scudder took a little bit as well. Little Onslaught, magnificent throughout. Great competitors. Spawn of Scudder did enough to stay. And Onslaught flipped, but using the Shremek to right itself under pressure from Razor there. And all the while, Bursin Getterich taking punishment and pressure from just about anyone. Fairmoth, they were in the mix throughout as well. Another flip up and over for the Onslaught team. Razor then almost crumpled at the of the drum, but for me versus Getrix, they will go out. And that's what the judges say as well. Confirmation that Spawn of Scutter, Onslaught, Beermoth, Razor and Attila the Drum will survive. Versing Getrix eliminated. Let's hear the excuses, Jules. I had faith in you guys. This is the aerospace engineer team. What went wrong? A simple little problem. The end of the aero got shorted out on the bodywork, so it wouldn't pick up any signals. So you had basically no control? No, it shut down. Ooh. It shut down. And Dead then pop. you... Yeah, they kicked you to the side, didn't you? And you, and you got toasted. It's warm. Oh, it's oh. warm. So a tiny little thing like that can ruin the whole fight. Yep. Well, that is the cruelty of Robot Wars. A tiny thing goes wrong and you are out. Now, I know some of you'll be thinking that that first battle was just an excuse to create as much carnage as possible. Well, good. 
I'm glad you've got the general idea. But now it's five down to four as we let the annihilation begin. <laughs> Formidable five. Oh, Attila the drum have changed weapons, look. Onslaught, so plucky, and Razor, so formidable. Attila the drum with Bernie Ryder, the team captain. On the left-hand side there, Aisha next to him. All oh, the Onslaught boys arriving in the middle a little bit late, and Razor on the right. There's Spawn of Scatter. And Beermoth, a heavyweight. Spawn of Scudder Boys on the left hand side, Darren Ball, Graham Warner, and Luke Chapman Three, have worked together. Two, one, Customary bright start from Razor then, from the right hand side of your pitch. In comes Onslaught! Ha oh, ha, as plucky as ever to take on Razor. Behemoth trying to flip Onslaught, don't know why, it's got a very effective stream act. Razor trying to all oh, crumple and punch in the front scoop of Behemoth. Now attacking Spawn of Scudder with a sharp teeth front. Trying to punch a spawn of Scutter as it did versus Gatterix. And look at Onslaught, the wheels may be spinning. The hearts, though, of Razor fluttering under the attack of Onslaught. Tremendous. And Beermoth and Razor now against Spawn of Scutter. But that was the push from Onslaught, which shows tremendous power. Razor takes Spawn of Scutter in a grisly grip. And Attila the drum. Keeps on trundling on. In comes the ref pot to have a look at Spawn of Scutter. Are they immobilised? Razor almost turned over, though. Now we, we know that Razor can flip itself using that winged claw mechanism. Do you see that? It's over on its side. We know they can ride itself. Little help from Onslaught. Topsy turvy. I think Razor should be okay, but Behemoth is in there and putting pressure on them. And Onslaught, and time is ticking down. Razor will have to prove. They are not totally immobilised. Spawn and Scutter, Bam off the roll, combining against Razor, the favourites. And Razor up and ready to take on Onslaught. Onslaught on its side. That means it's vulnerable if it's on its side. If it's flipped over, it can stream it, but not if it's on its side. They're OK, they're away. Razor trying to exact some sort of revenge on Behemoth, and there goes Attila the drum. If in trouble, run away, run away, live to fight another day. In they come, little smack of the mace down on Behemoth. Onslaught. <laughs> Snapping away there once again, Onslaught and Razor both topple. Who can ride themselves the quickest? Onslaught are up, Razor not far behind them there. Look at this, Onslaught, one, two, three, up and over she blows. And Razor just behind. Those are the two impressive robots for me so far in this Annihilator, the most impressive. Again, Razor using that wing mechanism, a till of the drum, a little bit of force, a little bit of power to try and keep them over. And a slam down of the mace. I don't think that's going to cause too much damage, to be brutally honest. Spawn of Scutter on the attack. A razor here, you know, they're going to have to flick themselves up and over. And Spawn of Scutter, well, they could rue that ultimately, helping Razor to right themselves. That is not good controlled aggression from Spawn of Scutter. And should it go to the judges, they will be marked down on that. I don't quite know how the judges would mark it to the drum, to be honest. They just seem to be a mad twirling thing to me. Razor. Puncturing Behemoth right behind the scoop. Look, it's got in on the scoop mechanism, Razor, to try and disable the scoop of Behemoth. Trying to cut the weapon effectively. It's a pneumatic scoop. Oh, in on the side now of Behemoth. Taking punishment. The great 80 kilo machine from Hemel Hempstead. Attila the drum buffets. Behemoth tries to ride the pressure from Razor. Has a chance to get away, but it's not the quickest at six miles an hour. Razor here, like a dog with a bone, after Behemoth. It will not let it alone. It's trying to worry it to roam bot oblivion. Spawn of Scudder trying to stay out of trouble and oblivion wisely also, because this is the duel that matters now. It's how long Behemoth can survive. And Michael and Anthony Pritchard, the brothers, with Kane Aston in support as well, trying to steer Behemoth out of trouble. I don't think they can. I don't think it's moving at all. I think Behemoth have been immobilised. I think the end is nigh for them. Razor worrying it tenaciously. Spawn and Scudder, they're top of your picture, and of course, yes, that's another drum. And it's Behemoth for me who will go out here 
Onslaught, a little bit of a busy run, but stay out of trouble, Onslaught. That's the message for them now. With Alan Wood, the Harpo Marks look alike, and his son David and Mark Holland in the team. And this is Spawn of Scutter, under pressure from Razor. Had enough of Bearmoth, they think Bearmoth the finish. Well, it is moving, but only just now. Spawn of Scutter, look at that, they think they're out. Spawn of Scutter, the Essex boys, think they've been immobilised. And look at this attack on Attila the drum now from Onslaught. It's all happening in front of us in the Northern Annihilator. Suddenly came off there, Bearmoth are out of it. Spawn of Scutter, have they survived? Goodness me. They applaud. Will they get the judge's decision? The attack on Spawn of Scutter by Razor early on under pressure from Onslaught. I love Onslaught. Razor on its side. Bearmoth on the attack there. Onslaught. <laughs> Again, Onslaught flip, Razor flip, both writing themselves. But Spawn of Scutter and Bearmoth, the two most in trouble. This is the punishment Bearmoth took from Razor. And I don't think. There was a lot of life left in Bearmoth before the attack on Spawn and Scutter. Certainly their team looked most unhappy. Who goes out? Who stays in? Let's see. The judges have said Spawn and Scutter were totally immobilised and Bearmoth still had a little life left to join Onslaught, Attila the Drum and Razor. Spawn of Scutter! Bad luck, team. You must be gutted. Yeah, we are a bit. It wasn't even Razor that's knocked us out, so... Who was it then? What happened? We don't know. We've just seemed to have lost either reception or power from the receiver to the rest of the robot. <sighs> Dead in the water. Oh, dear. We could only really go backwards, which meant we couldn't get the spike on them. Oh, no! The yeah, beautiful 120-mile-an-hour yeah. yeah, yeah. spike! The beautiful spike was Useless. ineffective. I mean, it wasn't Razor that knocked the drive out. We don't know what's happened, because we've lost everything. The whole thing's dead. So. Scrap metal. Uh, well, it is now. You <laughs> <laughs> You've been brilliant. Well done, Tim. The beer moth boys, why are you not frantically hammering and drilling and all well, that sort of thing? We've done a hammering. We got it all straight now from where Razor bent it. But unfortunately, we found out the gear has slipped inside the gearbox. And that's your spare? That's the spare, yeah. But you haven't got time to put it no, in? No, it takes about just about, about half an hour to swap them over. Oh, it's so unfair! I know. Are you gutted? Yeah. Next time. Next time, we'll exactly. More powerful, faster than ever before, ready to win. Oh dear, what a shame for the Bearmoth boys. <laughs> Out they go. Until the drum onslaught and razor, they stay in. Sorry, boys. And so we're down to three. And just as our robots can begin to taste victory, one of them is about to eat dirt as the Annihilator takes another victim. So, let the annihilation begin! Our terrible trio, Onslaught, magnificent. Razor, crushing. The Onslaught boys, Mark Holland, David Wood and his dad, Alan, and the Razor team in there, Ian Lewis, Simon Scott. Not forgetting team member Vincent Blood as well. There's Attila the Drum from Southampton, Bernie Ryder at the controls, Helen and Aisha with him. Well, I would imagine Attila the Drum very much up against it here, unless Razor or Onslaught decide to take the other favourite out, as I make them co-favourites at the moment for this. Attila the Drum... <laughs> Attila. What are they doing? Slam, bam on the arena floor. <laughs> they can win this by doing very little in the entire Annihilator. Onslaught through the flames. 12 miles an hour, top speed, too quick for Razor, it would seem. Oh, but look at that awesome, great, crushing weapon. And Attila the Drum, now that is the first time we've seen a real punishing attack from Attila the Drum, the potential of an attack anyway. A maddening spin and the heavy flail on the end, very, very nearly caught. And that is a worthy tactic. I want to see that again from Attila the Drum. Look at that, spinning wildly, and if that connects and catches, then Razor and Onslaught could be in real trouble. They, meanwhile, duel their dance of death together. Onslaught away, Attila spinning. Onslaught away from Razor. In comes Attila the drum, bang down. It needs to get closer, the ref pot has a look. Razor trying to catch up with Onslaught and get, get side on so it can crush down with the beak. Of course, Onslaught has other ideas. No point in trying to flip Attila the drum. It can roll 
both sides are humdrum, not this one. And the tempo of the drum is beating ever quicker, it would seem. Can it catch Razor, or will Razor go in and pierce the very drum itself? Fully floating electronics inside the body of Kevlar on Attila the drum. Razor with the electric power and the nine-ton hydraulic piercer. An onslaught with the pneumatically powered scooper, the static spikes at the rear. Razor spinning in the middle of the arena floor. This is very close, you know. It has not been the most punishing of Annihilator rounds. It's a little bit more cagey, but that is another strong blow from Attila the Drum. And now they are finally proving worthy opponents here. Look at that crashing against Razor. And yes, they have been aggressive here, and Razor was stunned. Razor was clearly stunned. Ian Lewis and Simon Scott need to get Razor moving again, otherwise we could have an upset, because although it has danced on the arena floor, it has taken punishment. Look at that. Bang! Bang from Attila the Drum. Onslaught has been busy. Attila the Drum has been potentially destructive. And Razor here suddenly is up against it and needs to work hard. Waiting its moment to close on Attila the Drum, but they can't get in there. Fearful of that mighty mace tight weapon at the end. It's an interchangeable weapon. They can bring back the pickaxe. Razor trying to close in there on Onslaught. A bash and a crash. Now, has the hydraulic crusher of Razor become immobilized? We haven't really seen it here at this stage. It draws back. It tries to tatter and tear, but Killalot's got Attila. Attila driven in onto the CPZ. The corner patrol zone. And that meant it was game for Sir Killalot. What a shame. Oh, what a shame for Bernie Ryder and the team, because I thought they were doing so well. Can they now redeem themselves? They've gone back onto the fringe of the CPZ. That's lunacy. Oh, no. Sir Killalot's got the weapon. The wheels spin, but there's no one at home, Bernie Ryder, I'm afraid. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, the wheels are tattered and torn. And I thought we were in for a major, major upset. Onslaught and Razor, will they now survive if it goes to the judges? Because the most punishment sustained by anyone at this stage sustained there. And it was the House Robots that caused it. Now can Razor suddenly close on Onslaught? Goodness me, they just got away. Matilda in the thick of the action there as well. Onslaught very nearly into peril. And they are in peril now. Razor! Now you can see the crushing beak. And it'll go to the judges again. Will they survive? Nice try, Razor. Could have been a nice enough try by Killalot. We'll wait and see what the judges say. Look at this. The flailing mace of Attila the Drum as Onslaught and Razor busied themselves with each other. Onslaught on the attack on Attila the Drum. But that was a mighty crash and a bash on Razor. And at that stage, I think Attila the Drum was winning this Southern Annihilator. But then the two others combined. Good tactics, pushing Attila the Drum into the CPZ. Was that the decisive moment, or was this? We'll wait and see. Attila the Drum forced into Killalot CPZ. Immobilised. Attila the Drum annihilated! Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, were you pleased yeah. with how far you got? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. It's quite a mean little night thing on the back of your drum, isn't it? I know, yeah. Uh, you can go over the top of it or swing round with it. But um, yeah. at the end there, I lost drive to one wheel. I, I think it might have been Razor yeah. that hit something at the front there. I don't know. But... Well, he's a tough yeah. robot, that Razor, it isn't is, he? Yeah. yeah. You probably get relieved you're out then. Yeah. You'd have to <laughs> fight them all the time, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. It's a bit of way off in mind. Well, yeah. it was nice to have you. I hope you come back next year. Yeah, nice being here. OK. Yeah, it's great. Well, let's hear it for Till the Drum. <laughs> One wheel on their wagon, not enough for Attila the Drum to stay in. Immobilised and out, onslaught left with Razor. Well, we're sorry to see you go. Yeah. But it was a great fight, wasn't it? Was. It was. It's fantastic fight. The best one we've had, I think. Yeah. And what happened? Why are you immobilised in that corner? Oh, I'm not quite sure. We got pushed in the corner and Sir Killalot grabbed us, but I think we lost drive to one of the wheels maybe just before that. 
It could have been on sort, it could have been razor, because he took a nip out of us at the front. Oh. And, um, was there a point that you thought you'd have that? Definitely. When they were fighting together, we were spinning around, we were hitting both of them at the same time. I know, it was beautiful work. But back to Southampton, yes. and back for the next wars, we hope. Oh, oh yes, we'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Ho oh, hum, out go the drum, there's the onslaught machine, along with Razor in Lewis and Simon Scott, co-favourites for me, both magnificent. Machine covered in soot. Well, a key question is how much titanium have you got? We've got quite a bit. The whole rear axle is titanium and the, the front axle and the tips on the back here on the spikes, they're all titanium. So those are the bits that Razor can't get hold of quite so easily or Not can't quite so crush easy. quite so easily, but unfortunately the rest of your robot is stainless steel. It is, and you can go straight through the lid. Who can? And uh, Razor, he, has, Razor did that. He did. What else did he do? He, he bent the side of the chassis. Which it's is... not looking good, is it? Oh, no. But you've got your 1967 motor, yes. which is actually still quite warm. <laughs> it is Ooh. very, it's very really hot. It's very hot. Now, have we got a message for Razor? Come on, it's Please the be finals. Be gentle. <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave you, you need tactics, really, don't you? Yes. I mean, have you thought of anything? How are you going to approach this? Run. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, here's one they prepared earlier. And that's what it looks like now. <laughs> now, you've taken quite a lot of damage, haven't you? It's wrecked, isn't it? Look at it. Yeah, it's got just another, maybe one more fight left. In one it. more fight <laughs> in you. More well, you only need one. You've got yeah. nine tons of hydraulic pierce oh, there. Oh, that yeah. bit's all right, yeah. yeah that's like the good bit. Here's a nice bit of damage here. That, that's the uh, uh, battery off first and Getterix, where we pierced them earlier on. We've got oh. the acid on the nose still. We said sorry, because we're honourable like that. Yeah. Uh, well, we've yeah. already seen what you did to Onslaught earlier. They're suffering yeah. more holes than you, I tell you. They look like a sieve yeah, at the moment. We've got a great axe hole there. Nearly clipped the motors. We had uh, motors overheating today, so we've been cooling them down with a big air stream off the gas bowl. Ice pack on there. Yeah, they need it. Well, you're it's away, aren't you, really? I'll just uh, leave you to put the other side on, and we'll Good see up. you in that arena. See you in a bit. Well, we said it'd be brutal, and having seen what they've swept up off the arena floor, I don't think there's as much twisted metal in Yori Geller's cutlery drawer. But after all the mayhem, two robots have somehow survived. But only one can be crowned Annihilator Champion of the South. This should be a classic. Let the final begin! Our diabolical duo, Razor, reigning world champions. There's the team, Vinnie Blood, Simon Scott, Ian Lewis. Onslaught from Bedford, a dad, son and brother-in-law team. Son David there on the left and Alan in the middle. Two, one, two, We're getting Mark Holland, brother-in-law of Alan, very much a part of the Onslaught team. Didn't fancy this, did they? Let's be honest. They want to stay out of punishing range of Razor dodging around Matilda. How about that? Matilda, you were far too slow there. <laughs> they got in behind Matilda and totally left her for dead. Onslaught trying to stay away from Razor. That's more important, of course. Matilda wants revenge. You can't make me look like a daft old what? I'm not too sure. One hates to think about descriptions for Matilda, really. Stuff of nightmares! Oh, look at that! They've driven straight onto the Razor Beak! And Razor know! That's Vinny Blood there with the thumbs up. They know now they've got Onslaught. They can do with Onslaught exactly what they want. And that is to let them go, because they know they can come in and crash. There was an attack of the Beak weapon. They've got Onslaught by the tyre, by the wheel, a crash. And Onslaught, well, the tyre slightly, only slightly shredded, and it looks to me as if they've got full power and momentum, or have they? Razor again worrying and nagging, and they pace themselves magnificently in this Southern Annihilator to come strong at the end. Onslaught, well, we better have a go. Charging headlong at Razor. Do you know, I, I, I'm not too sure whether they've got full crushing ability or whether they have done throughout. The tyre now fully shredded, so the damage was done. Look at that, the tyre, which had been shredded in the earlier attack, seemed to be OK, but no, it wasn't. And that will be a major problem now for Onslaught's traction on the arena floor. 
Razor bumps and bashes. Again, almost tentative, though, with the claw. Almost as if they don't want yet to pierce the steel chassis and the covering armour of Onslaught. Onslaught away, beyond Matilda, beyond the flame, spurting out from the arena floor. They're the remnants of its time. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Straight back into the CPZ. In comes Razor Onslaught on its side. And I mentioned beforehand, if it was flipped over, it could stream itself right, but not on its side. I don't think so. Against the arena wall, and Matilda pressurised and punctured by Razor. Oh, dear. Look at that. Matilda taking one on the shell. The rear of Matilda has never been quite seen like this before, and I have to say, thank goodness, Matilda is on fire. <laughs> Razor is destroying Matilda. There's the flame from Matilda. The tusks were raised. I think it was just the last sort of nervous spasm of Matilda. They're in major, major... <laughs> Judy, what's happened to you? Call on all your friends, the house robots. Kill a lot, do the gallant thing. Take on Razor. Onslaught's long been forgotten. <laughs> forgotten. Matilda, kill a lot. You're a knight of the realm, sir. Get in, sir, and protect your Tildy. No, sir. No such fear. We'll let Tildy bear the brunt of the attack of Razor. Is there anything left of Matilda, I wonder? Onslaught, there's Sergeant Bash to have a jet. There's nothing left of Onslaught, I'm sure. And just when Matilda thought she was away, back come Razor. Down goes the pit. Go on, chuck Tildy down there. Get Matilda in the pit. Oh, Matilda, what's happened to you, dear? I think it's time you took a long rest, Matilda. <laughs> Go on. Take a long convalescence, Matilda. Kill a lot. Was kill a lot nudging Matilda towards the pit there, everyone? I'm not too sure. The house robots seem to be teaming up with Razor against poor old Matilda. What's going on? Did he blood and the Razor team have won this Southern Annihilator? Poor old Matilda, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What on earth has happened? to the darling of Robot Wars, Matilda. Yes, I know, it's sad, isn't it? But she is our darling. Oh, Matilda, we will not waltz with you for a while, it would seem. <laughs> On the flame pit again. Well, Onslaught eventually. Dead metal doing the right thing by Matilda. Onslaught in the pit. Razor have won the Southern Annihilator. And now Sir Killalot can come in for revenge. You're a little bit too late, Knight of the Realm. But what's to happen to poor old Matilda from now on in the red pot? Taking one last lingering look, will this be the last we ever see of Matilda, I wonder? Razor! Strong enough to be our southern survivors! Onslaught or slaughtered. Let's look at some of the highlights of that fantastic fight. What a Southern Annihilator final it was. Onslaught driving on to Razor. Straight into the valley of robot death almost. The wheel was shredded, you see. That left traction a problem for Onslaught. Out of control, into the CPZ. Matilda took a nudge then took punishment, and boy, what punishment from Razor. On fire, poor old Matilda. Original house robot of Robot Wars. I wonder if she is to be no more after that sort of punishment and flame. Onslaught beaten, Razor Sutton annihilated champions, but Matilda waltz with me once more. And that's the way it was. I must admit, kind of welling up with tears here. We might be looking at our first Robot Wars funeral. Onslaught, you were in with a fairly good robot. In fact, a very good robot, weren't you? We were. When you're fighting a robot like that, what do you think? I mean, what's your strategy? 
What's your plan? Keep away as much as possible, I think. Well, you didn't. You kept driving up its <laughs> ramp and... Well, in the end, you have to, you have to go for them, don't you? But uh, they're certainly better than we are, much better. It's a right little chariot of a robot, yours, though, oh, isn't yes, it? yes, it's tough. It keeps on going. It certainly does. And his spike wasn't really penetrating you that much, that sort of evil claw they've got. No, it's, it's quite tough in places, but they managed to find a couple of places where it wasn't quite so tough. You'll come and see us again, won't you? Certainly will. That's the Onslaught team, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so you go and get yourself a brand new skinhead. Yeah. And then you start acting like a right villain. Yeah, that's right. Nice bit of. Uh, What's wrong violence. with Matilda? Well, quite a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we You're not that... wrong. She was blowing up inside. Well, we said last year that uh, we'd uh, pop Matilda's body. Uh, so we come true to our word. It had to be done. She exploded Sorry. inside, all these explosions <laughs> were going off. And that was my Jeez, fault, Craig. I was on the arm and I just couldn't fault. stop. That you, know, you could see the pressure going up, uh, eight, nine tons. Yeah. You, you battered it, really. You we did. I mean, you, on, you did. took care of Onslaught and then you went after the house robot. Yeah. I, was, I was begging Sir Killalot to go in and get you, but yeah. he seemed scared of you as well. Well, yeah, he did after a while. He tended to sort of hide for a bit and then he got his courage up and... Uh, Finally got us. He's a slippery yeah. customer. His old killer lot. He lays yeah. a bit of a snail track, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does. around. Total annihilation, chaps. Yeah. You're the annihilation so. champion to the south. Excellent. Here's your trophy. Show the audience. <laughs> Matilda, created at the dawn of Robot Wars, R.I.P., Rust in Peace, D.I.A., destroyed in action. D.Y.W.B., do you want a bat? <laughs> oh, yes! The matriarch of mayhem, the sister of slice and dice, the grandmother of grinding metal! We'll be back! Building robots is dangerous and shouldn't be attempted without great care. To receive our safety guidelines, you must first join the Robot Wars Club. Send a cheque or postal order for £12.95 to Robot Wars, London W1A 3AR. Members will also receive a badge, video and club magazine. If you build a qualifying robot, your membership fee will be refunded. For more information, call our hotline. <laughs>